you happen to have a garden hose that's damaged, cracked, split, or needs new ends, so today we're going to show you how you can possibly salvage that hose, and if not, what you can do with the old hose instead of throwing it in the garbage. So let's see how we can recycle or repair this hose. So the first thing we want to look at today is how to possibly repair the end of your hose. And there are several different kits that are available on how to do that. Some require tools, some don't. So in repairing your hose and putting new ends on, there's typically two sizes of inside diameter of your hoses, half inch and five eighths. So it's important to know which size you need when you go to pick up the, your uh, repair kits. This one's half inch and to repair it, it's so easy. You're just going to take one of the clamps, slide it on the hose, pick up the fitting you need, whichever end it is, insert it into the hose, slide your clamp up, just take a screwdriver and tighten up that clamp. So the main reason we're going to be looking at having to do this is either the end has gotten squished or it got stripped. Perhaps the hose itself has just gotten worn and kinked and you're having to cut it off, get rid of the bad section and replace that end. So if you've got a garden hose that both ends are fine, but you've got a bad section in the middle, you can simply cut out the bad section, take a union, put a clamp on either side, move your clamps into place, secure them, and your hose is back in business. So you can see that the repair is very easy on these. It's relatively inexpensive. So some other options for repairing your hose don't require any tools at all. They're simply a compression style fitting. So we just simply want to take our hose, insert it into the compression fitting, shove it all the way in as far as it will go, and then just tighten up the nut securely. And your hose is repaired and ready to go. It's just that easy. So as you can see, there's many different options for repairing your hose ends. Ones that require a tool and a clamp, others that just require being pushed in and uh, having a nut tightened as a compression style fitting. Just make sure you've got the right one for the right size hose. So if you're not repairing the hose, your old hose does not have to go to the landfill. It can be recycled and we're going to show you some ideas that you can use for that old hose. For any of those sharp tools that you have for maintaining your property, either being a buck saw type style or even an axe, you've got sharp edges, sharp blades, old piece of garden hose. So you're just going to take your axe, take a short piece of old hose that you've cut to length, take your knife and cut a slit in it, and it's just a matter of putting it down onto your, your axe head. And you just made yourself a perfect little protector. So to make a, a guard for, say, your buck saw, it's just a matter of taking your old hose, cutting it to length, and you're just going to take your knife. I've already started to slit it open, but we're just going to finish that off. And now that it's cut open, we're just going to put it onto the saw blade. Now you don't have to worry about anybody cutting themselves as they try to pick up your saw. Another great option for those plants you have that when you go to water them, you can't get the spout all the way in and you've got water pouring on your floor. Take that spout off, take that chunk of old garden hose. Now you can just supply the water where you want it to go. Another handy use for that piece of garden hose is if you've got one of those pails or buckets that the handle um, cuts into your hand when you try to lift it, just take a piece of garden hose Slit it open, slide it up onto your handle. Now you've got a nice soft carrying grip. Makes it much easier. Another great idea for that old hose is if you've, say, planted a new tree and you need to support it. So just take a piece of that garden hose, slide your chain or rope through it, and you can wrap it around that tree and uh, stake it, and you're not going to cause any harm to the bark. Another great tip for using those old hoses is for your garbage can where the bag keeps slipping down inside. Just take a couple of short pieces of that garden hose, slit it open, just slide it up underneath the rim. Do that in a couple of locations and that bag won't move. So we hope the tips that we shared with you today on how to repair or recycle your garden hose will be helpful to you. There's many, many others out there from basic to artistic. If you've got something you'd like to share with us, please put it in the comment section.